question for you. What kind of person doesn't want to be rich? To have all the money to do what they want, when they want. The definition of freedom seems pretty fun, right? But hold on a sec. Not all of us are multimillionaire status yet. So here are some cars that look, sound, and feel like a million bucks, all for under $10,000. And if you wanna join the Ideal Fam and make us feel like a million bucks, hit that join button down below and you get access to our private Discord server where I like to hang out as well as early uploads. And if you're new here, my name is Brad Danger and this is Ideal Media, let's go. One of the first car brands that comes to mind when you think rich is Mercedes. And one of the first models that I thought of was this four-door luxury land yacht, the Mercedes S550. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this is the top of the line when it comes to inexpensive opulence. Just think about it for a second. Plush leather, sophisticated technology, and an air suspension system that feels like you're riding on a cloud. This thing rides so nice, you'll never feel a bump in the road again. Now. There are two different engine choices, depending on the year you get. The first few years had this 383 horsepower, 5.4 liter naturally aspirated V8, which isn't a bad amount of power and it doesn't sound bad either. But I know you guys, and you want a little bit of boost. And so, well, starting in 2011, you could get the S550 with a twin Turbski 4.6 liter V8, which has well over 400 horses. You know how people will know that you're rich ripping around in this thing? Because you have all the money to be able to afford the expensive repairs. Yeah, it's actually not that unreliable, but especially if you take the car to the dealer, it costs a lot of dinero. So take it to your best indie repair shop and you'll be just fine. About as fine as the fine ladies' attentions that you'll be grabbing in this Merc. Oh, and when you put that pedal to the metal, if I could describe it in one word, it would be flying. It's pure automotive bliss. And I can promise you that if you roll up in this boat like Ben's, you are gonna be snapping some necks. Because, you know, this thing has neck breaking good looks. Here's a 2012 with that twin Turbski, beautiful gray S550, rear wheel drive for just under 10K. This VIP German luxury is crazy inexpensive for what it is. But you know what? I need to get rid of this mustache and you gotta go snag some ideal swag. Go support the Chan, join the fam. Oh, and a luxury Mercedes is meant to be silent. But what if you want something loud? <laughs> then you need a Maserati Quattroporte and that sound. That sound. Oh yes, that sound. Coming from that Ferrari 4.2 liter V8, that thing sounds like a bazillion bucks. the supercar sounding exhaust that'll totally make you look rich as you rip down the roadway. When you open the doors to this beautiful sedan, you are met with luscious leather interior, which is anything but cheap in this Italian stallion. Everything, and I mean everything on this car, oozes money. And it actually is an extremely stable and capable chassis. And when complemented by its rear wheel drive, the performance on this Quattroporte is some serious business. By just looking at it, you can tell it's expensive. But the craziest thing about this car is that when it was new, it was well over $100,000. And regardless of what you pay for this thing, you know that when you're driving around in it, people are gonna think you're a millionaire. And so if you wanna hop into this masterful musical Maserati, I found this silver Quattroporte for 10K exactly. That means that it's lost over 90% of its value, if my math is right. Just promise me this. If you get one, can you please, 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 please straight pipe it? Oh God, it sounds so good. Whew, that's a tough act to follow. Now on with the next whip. This two-door toy is a superb handling and rear wheel drive sports coupe that'll have you looking like you just won the lottery every single day you drive it. That's because you're driving a Porsche. 
even though it's one with the ugliest headlights ever. And if you wanna see all the reasons why I hate my 996, go check it out up here. It kinda sucks. But back to this one, cause you still look like a million bucks driving it. The exterior is sporty, it looks like a Porsche, and it pretty much is the everyday supercar. And when you pop inside the interior, well, it's got leather trim and sporty seats. And of course, all of this is backed up by a naturally aspirated flat six. Rip it and rip it in under five seconds. And the best thing about that motor is that it sounds really expensive. Again, this is probably the best value for under 10K, but you gotta watch out for some items like the pesky IMS issue and all the other ones. So definitely consider checking out that video that I did about mine, because I had a motor blow up and it cost $25,000. Now, the good part though is, is that I found you one for $7,000. Look at it. It's a rear-engined, leather-filled, posh-looking Porsche, and it can make all your craziest dreams come true. But if you're trying to look rich and drive a truck, well, the OG box status symbol is the Hummer H2. This cute, stylish little box was super popular in the 2000s and was well known for one thing. If you had one, you had money. It takes big bucks. Rappers had them in videos, models drove them after a shoot. It was the embodiment of success, and it makes complete sense. Pop the hood, and a six liter notoriously gas-guzzling Vortex V8 is under there. And not only did you have to pay that $60,000 plus MSRP to get one into your garage, but you had to pay that gas bill to drive it around. Yeah, nine miles per gallon is not gonna be cheap, but it was an icon of American freedom and high life when it came out. You're buying this thing to look rich while you're just pimping down the boulevard. I mean, that's why I would buy it. And while yes, the interior isn't as leather filled or wood trimmed as other luxury SUVs, the H2 hands down makes up for it for its looks and its pop cultureness. And it's so big and over the top that people will just smell money as you roll up. And yet the joke is on them because the best part, you can get them cheap. I found this 2003 H2 for only 7,000 bucks. Now, I got a question for you. What's better than a boxy luxury SUV? Well, another boxy luxury SUV, duh. The Range Rover Sport could be looked at as a foreign competitor to the Hummer, but way more refined than rugged. With leather and luxury sprinkled throughout, it makes you look super baller too, because Range Rover, duh. But the street cred of the Range Rover is unreal. Celebrities and rappers and your best friend's mom all love this thing for its style and size. And although I know it has handsome good looks and it's a great commuter, it actually takes the cake when you compare it to the H2 in the off-road department. Yeah, thanks to its four-wheel drive, low-range gearbox, and height-adjustable air suspension, you can do some pretty extreme off-roading too. Plus, if you wanna have the ultimate sleeper, this thing came with a supercharged engine. Go, baby, go! But regardless of whichever engine you do decide to get, this thing drives like a sports car. I found this supercharged Range Rover for just 9K. I think that we can all agree, having a luxury SUV is pretty strong for utility and looks baller as hell. But our next car whew, doesn't just look baller, it looks executive. Right this way, Mr. President. This BMW 750Li, specifically the F01 and F02 variants. This is one of the baddest BMW boats out there with a twin turb ski V8, which made this thing compete directly with the first car on this list, the S-Class. The 750Li has a ton of luxury and technology, which many of you guys think that BMW stands for break my wallet or a bunch of other things. Let me know down in the comments what BMW actually stands for for you. But this BMW is quality. Think of it as the executive big body limousine with four doors. Like, imagine picking up some of your friends in this thing. It looks so baller. And between the big body and the BMW badge, they're gonna think you're rich for sure. Now, into the super confusing BMW nomenclature. The LI model of this BMW is the long, long, long wheelbase version, which looks especially huge on the roadway. 
Whoa. And it's totally fitting for this boss of a car. The driving machine is the complete opposite from the stiff suspension M cars. And instead of that harsh cornering and aggressive sound, you get silence and silky smooth and relaxing driving. Yeah, like really relaxing. Like don't sleep at the wheel relaxing driving. Because like the S-Class, this thing feels like a cloud when you're rocketing down the roadway. Now, lucky for you, my friends, the car is actually really cheap, but having a driver drive you around because you should probably be in the back of this thing is gonna be a lot of money and I'm available for hire. And this 2011 750 Li is just nine grand. That's a pretty great deal if you ask me. And you're saying no? That isn't big enough? <laughs> well, guess what ideal fam, I got you. If you want the pinnacle of American luxury, then the Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> Yeah, has your back. I mean, come on, everyone and everyone that is anybody knows that this is the luxury SUV of choice. And if you don't know the culture around this thing, I mean, it's a caddy, it's baller. And it's a damn shame that you don't because this thing, it's big. It's pretty much guaranteed to be the biggest thing on the road. And if you keep it clean, it's gonna look like you're stupid rich. And one of my absolute favorite things about the Escalade is that they have the EXT or kind of like the pickup variant, which come to think of it, I totally forgot, but the Hummer H2 actually came with a pickup variant as well. Max, can you throw that on the screen? Yeah, that thing is pretty badass as well. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the Escalade or the H2? Let us know up here. I don't know which one looks as badass, but well, I do. It's the H2. But back to the Escalade. If you get some big aftermarket rims, chicks will be chasing you down the road. And don't quote me on this because you can't, but if you buy one of these, you might get Escalade if you're picking up what I'm throwing down. So dollar for dollar, this might be the best value. I found this Escalade EXT version for 6K and it even has a bed in the back. Go figure. Let me say it again for the people in the back. 6K, that, that's stupid cheap. Anyways, I need your guys' help. Out of this list, which one would you choose? Let me know down in the comments. For me, honestly, for under 10K, for a car that makes me look rich, it's gotta be the H2. I know, I'm gonna get a ton of heat in the comments, but I just like the look of the H2. It's aged extremely well, and if you throw some big wheels and tires on this thing, it actually looks pretty baller. So, let me know which one you would choose. Would it be the super smooth Mercedes, or the hollaback Hummer, or maybe a crazy clean caddy? Let us know down below. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and go check out some of our other ideal content. And as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle. <laughs>